African community flag and uh, Honorable Kanini Kega is here, shall be flown at half mast at State House. All Kenyan diplomatic missions, public buildings, grounds, all military base posts and stations, as well as naval vessels of the Republic of Kenya and throughout the entire territory of the Republic of Kenya. The Deputy President visited the school yesterday and urged Kenyans to avoid speculation on the number of deaths, the fate of the missing, and the cause of the deadly inferno, and instead call for patience, awaiting the conclusion of investigations. We really want to thank the security agencies, led by the Ministry of Interior and National Coordination, who CS was here yesterday, which has already launched investigations and has directed the deployment of national government agencies in central Kenya to coordinate operations with the regional commissioner who is here of central Kenya providing periodic updates on recovery efforts, psychosocial support and evacuation operations which are ongoing. The police have since cordoned off the place. So that's why we are doing it outside here uh, because inside now it's a crime scene. And uh, for your information, uh, that um, multi-agency uh, is very well uh, coordinated. Even the government pathologist is here, uh, Dr. Udwar, and they are working with the director of homicide at the DCI, and, and they are already making sure that they recover uh, the bodies uh, so that uh, the other process can continue. So we cannot get in there because of that reason, uh, because it is still uh, very, very delicate. But also to say at this point in time that we have a main committee at the county level led by the regional commissioner as the chair with the county governor of Nyeri, Honorable Mwalimu uh, Kahiga, uh, also who is a teacher by profession, uh, co-chairing uh, that as well. And then there will be a day-to-day -day committee here, as directed uh, by the CS for Interior and His Excellency the President, uh, that uh, we will have the DCC now chairing the day-to-day -day operations of this, uh, of this uh, uh, whole operation. We are very keen as government, and the CS will be speaking, to ensure that uh, normalcy returns, uh, even so that those who need to continue learning can continue. Uh, so the DCI and the government pathologist have been here and are still con conducting investigations and scientific analysis. Their tireless efforts in uncovering the truth is commendable. However, this will take time and therefore they will continue to work diligently to ensure that the country gets the root cause of this tragedy. Uh, on the Ministry of Health, I think, uh, let me leave, uh, Waziri will explain further. But when it comes to the Ministry of Education, uh, I beg your pardon, the health professionals have been on site here from the MOH, uh, from the Na uh, Pub National Public Health Emergency Center, and their efforts are focused to ensure that all of the injured receive the necessary uh, medical attention, and they have helped facilitate transfers and have airlifted those in critical conditions. Unfortunately, one of the boys, we lost, we lost him, <coughs> uh, unfortunately, the one uh, who went all the way to KNH. Under the Ministry of ESA um, and um, a Regional Development, uh, we've been able, as a government, to provide the food that is required here. Uh, and it's important because that is uh, the first thing that is required, honestly. Uh, rice, about 100 uh, bags. Beans, 50 bags. Uh, corn soya beans, uh, 25, uh, 24 kg bags. Uh, then blankets, about 200 pieces kitchen sets, soap, sanitary pads, and water view. And all of this, uh, the CS for ESOLs, uh, Beatrice Askul was here yesterday, uh, and they've already been, been delivered. Uh, Counseling and support. Disaster response agencies, including the National Government Ad Administrative Officers, NGAO, the Kenya Red Cross, and the National Disaster Operations Center, who are also here, are working in, to coordinate support for the affected parents and the school community offering aid and counseling services. So far, 37 girls have been counseled and 32 boys as well. And this is, count, we are still counting quite a number of parents. And the information that the Red Cross is providing is that anybody traumatized by this situation, the counselors, the 63 counselors are available uh, for that matter. Conclusion of the investigations. While the cause of the fire has not yet been conclusively identified, the government confirms that it has mobilized all relevant agencies and continues to work diligently to conduct this investigation throughout. Those found responsible will be brought to justice, and the CS will be talking about that. The government is committed to ensuring accountability for every learner. 
to ensure the safety remains a top priority for the government, the government will continue to follow through to ensure that the relevant policies are strictly adhered to. And we call upon all schools to comply fully with these regulations to safeguard the well-being of our children and prevent such tragic incidents from happening again. Once more, to the bereaved families, Poleni Sana, Namungu, Awalinde. We shall be giving daily briefings uh, so that then we can get it in written format. So we shall release this uh, statement shortly. But before that, allow me to uh, welcome Joan from the Office of the First Lady to make a comment. Well, later, later, later. later. <coughs> You come at the end, yes, it's Joan. Thank you so much. I'm here to just convey deepest condolences from the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. As you know, she's currently away on official duty, but Her Excellency is deeply, deeply grieved by this happening in our nation. And she sends her love, her prayers to the bereaved family, to the community, to the teachers, to the parents of the deceased. And Her Excellency is very keen to ensure that this matter is looked into to identify what the root cause is and as a team she has sent us with food over 50 bags of rice and other material support for the community for the children for the parents and this is just the first support we are here on the ground to assess the situation and to see how we are able to further help her excellency is very passionate about the children of this nation she's mama taifa and so with us we come with prayers, we come with love, we come with the condolences from the First Lady. And we look forward to just participating with all the government agencies that are on the ground. We are grateful for the immediate support that came from the different line ministries, from the county government, and we look forward to just working together to see how we are better able to support the community and the school. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Now, before I invite uh, the governor to invite the CS, I once again